Um, so the good thing is that if you do want to follow me on Twitter, um, then you can just put at at the beginning of that name. So you can, you can follow it. I'm new to Twitter, so it'd be nice to have some followers. Anyway, that's a plug for myself. That's enough of that. Um, but it's just a bit of a precursor as well to this talk this morning. I want to talk a little bit about the, the future of fundraising. Um, and part of that is to do with the generation, which is my generation, Generation Y, um, but also looking at the next generation to come, Generation Z, and uh, exploring that within nine minutes. So give me a chance at this one, and we're going we're we're to take you on a, a bit of a, an exploration, so hopefully that should be okay. Um, as I was prepping this, I suddenly realised that I wasn't the youngest generation anymore and had a bit of a quarter-life crisis when I had to go and get a tattoo. Um, and uh, so if I do just walk off the stage, um, please forgive me, that's just because I'm going through a bit of a, a quarter-life crisis at the moment. Um, but looking at Generation Y, um, what actually motivates them? What is that motivation? What's my motivation to be involved in a charity or, or to give? Now, I'm looking at both fundraising and volunteering, but I think this is, it's important that we look at it not just on a fundraising level. It has to be bigger. It has to be bigger than fundraising. And I know that I'm sort of saying this in a room full of fundraisers, which is a bit awkward, um, but actually I think that that's really important. If we really truly want to engage with Generation Y and Generation Z, then we need to um, actually think bigger than fundraising. I think it will result in fundraising, but I think we need to start off bigger. Because a lot of it, and I think the first thing, point number one, this, this is important, that actually, this is okay, it's about their personal growth. A lot of the reason that um, generation, both Generation Y and Generation Z get involved is because they need that volunteering experience on their CV, and there's nothing wrong with that. The second thing is about belonging. It's about that personal um, connection. And with the rise of things like social media, there's more and more need and, and a, a deep um, need that's come, come out of this, that people want to be connected to somebody else. It's been nicknamed the lonely generation. And I, I feel both of those with, with uh, the, the rise of virtual reality technology and things that's going to make more and more, I give more and more isolation to these generations, we need to find new ways of reaching out and connecting. And part of that belonging is about them feeling wanted and needed within the charity. And I feel like we need to continue looking at ways of doing that. Um, Miles Anthony Smith said this in his book, he said, everyone is dispensable but some are more dispensable than others. I think this generation feels like, in the throwaway generation that we live in, that actually they could be dispensable as well. And the third thing is integrity. Um, I was in a restaurant the other day, and there was a group of teenagers there, and they looked miserable. Um, now, that is part of the, the job, job spec of being a teenager, I get that, but they actually looked really, really miserable. Um, and I, we, we meet a lot of miserable people as fundraisers, don't we? We, we have to deal with those sorts of people all the time. Um, but these people, these teenagers, were really miserable. Then suddenly, one of them got their phone out, ready to take a photo. And the mood changed instantly. The smiles on their faces, they were all like, Way! like that, you know, from being oh, like that. And it was a sudden change. Um, and that's because that's the way they want to be displayed. That's the way that on social media, um, when their friends are showing others the photos, that's the way that they want to be seen. As soon as the camera went away, the phone went away, they were miserable again. Um, and I think that both my generation and the generation that is uh, sort of t uh, 1 to 21, Generation Z, they're looking for integrity. They're looking for that real experience. They're looking for something that they can connect to. So firstly, they were the, those are the things that motivate millennials, generation Y. How do we engage with that though? How do we work on that? Now it's been touched on a little bit already. Um, it's great to hear uh, Michael talking as well about um, you know, sort of a connection, a trustee level, and I think that's really important. I know we've done a bit of a hands up thing, but I think it'd be just, not so much if you're involved, but if you've got trustees that are um, 60 plus, can you just hold your hand up? 60 plus. Okay, keep your hand up if you've got 50, 50 between 50 and 60. Okay, between 40 and 50. That's good. Some hands have gone down. Between 35 and 40. 
Some are trying to work out how old their trustees are at the moment. Between 30 and 35? Okay, between any under 30? Any trustees under 30? Okay. Some, uh, maybe one. Okay, great. Fantastic. Any teenager trustees? Yeah? Fantastic. Great. But, on a whole, it looks like we, we're, we're facing the same, the same thing. And I think it's, the point's already made, so I'm not going to go into that anymore. Um, but it is important that we have both Generation Z and Generation Y, not just at participation level, but also at influence level. They're looking for a genuine experience. They're looking for a transparent and trustworthy organisation to be part of. And the question shouldn't be about how do we engage young people um, with fundraising, but how do we engage with young people? My last, my last bit, my last section, just to have a think about, that's, that's more about Generation Y, but I just want to focus on Generation Z more, because that's the, that's the, next, the next part of it. And the danger is assuming that they'll simply be extensions of Generation Y. While Generation Y grew up during a strong economy, Generation Z is growing up in a time of recession, terrorism, violence, but that word, and complexity. And especially in a post-Brexit world, there's even more um, disruption and uh, fear about what might be coming. And how can we not use that, but how can we build as charities a consistent brand? Something that is trustworthy, something that is transparent, that they can trust, that they know that when they see that brand, that they see that organisation, that they know that they can trust that. While Generation Y subscribe to everything social, Generation Z doesn't want to be tracked. There's the rise of secret and whisper and Snapchat, but you get it for a little while and then it's gone. That's the way that they want to communicate. While Generation Y watch YouTube and Netflix, Generation Z wants to co-create. It's about live streaming. It's about um, helping them to be involved in that activity and participate. How are we communicating with that generation? Do we communicate with that generation? Is it working? Is what we're doing working? With the, the rise of virtual reality and the, the next big move in technology towards contactless payment. Um, and some of you may have seen the video, it's, it, was, it was trending uh, for, for quite a while on, um, on Facebook and on Twitter of the social swipe um, technology in a setup in, I think it must have been a train station, where people could just go with their card and there was a picture of a loaf of, or a video of a loaf of bread, and as they slid down their, their card down the middle, it sliced a piece of bread off, and they made a donation, and then it printed out a receipt and said, thank you for your donation, you just fed a family. There's new technology coming all the time, and how do we keep um, up to date with that? Also, those, those intentions of uh, where their heart is, what they want to be doing. Three out of four, of Generation Z wished their current hobby could become their full-time job. And that was far more than millennials Generation Y reported when they were asked about it. So just thinking about this, uh, just to finish, our world is travelling at a faster and faster pace. With Generation Alpha on the horizon, my advice is engage with young people now. They aren't the future of fundraising, they aren't just the future of fundraising, they are the shapers of fundraising. Thank you very much for listening.